What's up guys? So this video is kind of going to be all over the place, but we have some interior, exterior, not really performance, kind of performance stuff that we're going to be putting on the Camaro in this video. This video is probably going to be broken up into like three different parts because I'm doing this on like three different days. Um, but yeah, we're installing some, uh, some like cosmetic stuff. It'll look pretty cool. And then uh, eventually it'll all tie in together and it'll be this dope, very dope thing. Like I, I, I just bought something pretty cool this morning and I'm kind of still shaking about it because <laughs> it was a really big purchase. So, you know, it's gonna change up the look of this car a lot, but let me show you what we got. Um, it's in my garage. So we got a ton of stuff from Next Gen Speed. We got the carbon fiber like trim for like around the shifter and stuff. Um, we got a sticker that adds like 50 wheel and we got some smoked side markers. So we're gonna install these and then we have a like carbon fiber strip that like goes around the interior. So I'm just gonna like briefly, you know, show the clips of me installing this stuff. This is so easy. It's just 3M tape on the back of here. And then for these, you just need uh, a little thing. You gotta unbolt the bolts and then you gotta put that in and then yeah. So I'll show you guys this, the interior stuff first and then yeah. So before I install the carbon fiber pieces, I'm gonna wipe down the surfaces uh, right here and right here with uh, some alcohol. I just wanna make sure there's no other contaminants on it, like any germs or anything. And so I get the best uh, stick with a 3M tape so it'll last a while and it'll match the other carbon pieces that I have for the car. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that now. So I wiped everything down. Both surfaces are pretty clean. We're gonna install this one first because it looks easier. I just have to remove those red strips off the 3M tape and then just uh, slap it on there. So let's do that. So I got all the red tape off the uh, 3M tape stuff. It took a little while because I have like big fingers and getting my nails to dig into the, the tape was pretty annoying. But let's try to fit this on right here. So it should just slide in there. Yeah, just like that. And then press it down just to make sure everything is good. Oh. And that looks, that looks so much better than having that aluminum strip that just makes everything look bad. I'd like to get a carbon like cap for this, but I'm pretty sure the one that I saw was like $50 and I'm not paying $50 to cover this little surface area. That does not make any sense to me. <laughs> so yeah. And there's also the rings uh, for the AC, but that's whatever. I'll deal with that later. But now I gotta put this on. I think that'll look so much better. So yeah, I'm gonna unwrap that and then we'll get to that. So I got the bottom part on and that looks amazing. Can't wait to get the top on, but just just looking at this as a whole right now with like all of the carbon pieces, you know, like that just looks great. It like, I don't know. I kind of really want a carbon steering wheel, but it's really expensive for what it is. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe in the future. Right now I'm fine with the carbon pieces here, but yeah, carbon steering wheel would really like bring everything together, but this just looks amazing so far. So I'm gonna put this part on, uh, it's right here, and then I'll show you guys how the end result looks for the interior. So it took a little while to get the fitment the way I wanted it to be. It's still a little messed up, around this vent right here but it's not too noticeable uh i think it looks pretty good though i mean i think it was like all in all i think this is like 70 dollars. so 70 dollars for this i will take it because it looks honestly now that i'm looking at it it looks like you know not tacky it looks like it almost could have come from factory maybe you know but th the carbon just shines so well and it's gonna make this car just feel a bit more luxurious so yeah, that's all the carbon uh, fiber trim for the car. I just like this the most. I'm so glad I don't have to look at that silver 
strip piece that it just it didn't it didn't look good in this car so yeah now we're uh carbon boys uh carbon fiber steering wheel coming soon next thing we're gonna install are these uh smoked side markers i know a lot of videos you guys are going to see of these are the diode dynamics ones but those are 160 dollars and these were like 50 dollars, and they do the exact same thing so yeah save money where you can because why waste the money <laughs> so i'm gonna install these pretty straightforward there's tons of videos on it you just unscrew some bolts here and then uh yeah that's that's pretty much it <laughs> um so yeah i'm not gonna go too in depth with that i'll probably just show you guys the before and after so yeah so you just kind of get in there gotta wait to hear a little click and then it's secure and then let me get my keys so yeah orange and i took out the orange one so i got the right one so yeah just keep doing this and then you'll eventually have blacked out side markers all right guys it's been a couple days since that last clip it's very early in the morning but yeah as you guys can see or maybe you can't the car was tinted the other day i got I think it's 35 on the windshield and then I got 15 on the sides. It looks so good on a black car. I got the back tinted too. I wanted to get the back tinted because right now we're about to install the louvers um, and I couldn't obviously install the louvers without getting the back tinted. I also got the Z01 side skirts installed. These are the ones that were on my old car. Um, I figured because nobody was gonna buy them, they were just sitting in my garage, I might as well just put them back on this car. And it looks great, to be honest, so I can't even complain. And then obviously we have the smoke side markers, still rocking stock wheels, but forget about that. And the new front bumper is being delivered today. I'll show you guys what it looks like, hopefully in the next video. Uh, what else, what else, what else? We have the Borla exhaust that came in the other day. So I'll make an exhaust video soon. Um, so before I install the louvers, I have to clean the surface, the back window with some armor all. So I'm gonna do that. And then I have the brackets in here with the 3M tape and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys that. But right now I'm just gonna go clean the window and then get back to you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so hot out here that when I spray the armor roll, it just like steams off the car or creates steam off the car. I don't know if you can see it now, but I can see it. It's like right here. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Anyway, I'm gonna wipe this off. Just make sure that the back window is clean. Oh man, the tint looks so good on this car, especially with it being a black car. Ugh, it looks awesome. All right, and then, now that that's done, we have to put the brackets on the louvers. I'll show you guys how to do that. It's pretty simple, but also a little difficult. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the louvers all bolted up. Everything looks really nice because the, the bolts are black, like the black on black on the black car is gonna look pretty sick. So the 3M tape is still on these, but I'm gonna mount it up to the car just to show you guys how it looks. Then I'm gonna take the 3M tape off and then like do the final placement for it. So let's see how it looks. I mounted it on there and it looks amazing. That looks awesome. So I think it looks even better than the black on the blue, to be honest. Get you a higher angle and that looks awesome. It's gonna look even better with the black diffuser and the quad tips and a real license plate. <laughs> I have to do that too, but just look at the, the side skirts plus the louvers. Like that, that, that three quarter panel shot, that is money. So I'm gonna take the 3M tape off the louvers and then these will officially be set on the cars. What the visibility is like on the inside. So that's what it looks like. And I also have those, the 3M tape in between the fins so it doesn't vibrate when I'm driving. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like from the 
back and then that's what it looks like so you can still see out of there it's not that big of a change it's more of a exterior change but uh overall this car is slowly coming together and i think the tint just makes it look so much better yeah also don't mind the red side markers i still have to install the back ones i've just been really busy with work and everything but uh yeah this car is slowly coming together man i cannot wait for the new front bumper it's gonna be so cool